Hello friends, welcome back. This list of videos will help you to understand the core concepts of machine learning with a good hands-on. In this set of videos, what I am planning is, one video will have a core concept introduced, then followed with a video which has Python code, which will help you to run a particular concept that we have learned in the previous video and make you to realize the working of a core concept, machine learning concept. And hence, your understanding will get more concretized. So let's start from the basic question of what is learning? I want you to pause this video for a moment. Think, what do you mean by learning? Hope oh, you have now thought of what a learning is. Let me introduce you what a learning is. Learning is a process of acquiring new, there can be new several things. One is in the form of new knowledge or new skills or new values or attitude or a new behavior. This is what a total learning comprises of. I am not specifically speaking of either a machine or a human beings. A general learning. When I say learning, it is a process of acquiring new things. Okay. Now, the next question is, how do we learn? How do humans learn? First and foremost thing is, as a child, you must have seen like the child absorbs and learns. We see and learn. Or we experience and learn. Or we practice and learn. So these are the primary modalities through which human beings learn. Now, I can define this learning process as a process that involves encoding, storing, and retrieving of information primarily in human brain or neural network. This is how I define a human learners. Human learning is. Right. On the other hand, if I want to transfer the same thing to a machine, and if I want to make my machine to learn things, right. So that's a big question. How do I make machine to learn? Right. So, with the kind of experience that you are giving to the human brain, if we are able to give such experience to the machine, you can make a machine also to learn. Right. So, if you look at the definition of a machine learning, it says that machine learning research is a part of research on, right. So, making the computers to learn things through data that we provide through the observations and through the interactions with the world. Right. With whatever is the experience that the computer has got, now it tries to generalize the information to a broader context. This is how even human beings learn. And in the same way, we want to mimic the human learning to a machine learning. On the other hand, we have other definition which says that it is a field of study that gives computers to ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. You must have all learned um, C programming where you must have written a code okay, to divide two numbers, to calculate a factorial of a number, to calculate the Fibonacci series or to generate Fibonacci series and all. Right. In case, if during that case, if computer comes across with the unforeseen condition, then it might go into the infinite loop or it might throw some error. So, because you have not explicitly given a condition, if so and so condition occurs, what you are expecting the machine to do? In such a case, the machine will be puzzled and will not be able to solve the puzzle. So, in that case, we are trying to 
will intelligence to the machine that's how there is a clear distinction between explicitly programming it and making the machine to learn this is the difference between explicit programming and making a machine to learn having said this let's look at the well posed problem definition of machine learning where in which i can simplify it and try it like this a computer program is set to learn from its experience e with respect to some task t and give up some performance p and if its performance on task t as measured by p improves over the experience Right. So let me take a couple of examples. Okay. So what what do you mean by a task? A task could be example. I want to predict the cost of one gram of gold in January two thousand twenty six in India. Right. So this is what I have to make my machine to do it. So what is the task that I am trying to do? Doing the prediction. Right. So now you are making the machine to learn predict the cost. in next 6 months that means the machine will be able to predict based on the experience that it has got what is that experience that it has got it will see, observe like how in last 6 months how the gold rate has increased or how the gold rate has fallen down right so based on considering this as a experience it now goes and performs a task of prediction Okay. In this case, the prediction itself is a task, and giving a data or experience is that okay? Uh, for how many years you have a data for on which you are trying to train your machine, right? And performance is say suppose it says some value, right? And um, in Jan twenty twenty six, if it exactly matches, that means your prediction is very good. In case if it is not at all matching. that means your system or a machine has literally failed in that case that means you are trying to evaluate the performance of your machine right so some of the other tasks could be say so example most of the time in any machine learning course we speak about prediction as a very important task say example object detection right so i want to find out in a given uh, video i want to find out like how many bikers are wearing helmet and how many are traveling without a helmet right so what what is that you are trying to classify the given bike rider into a person with helmet and without helmet this is another important task that you can train your machine to do it right the third important task is given a patient details find out whether the patient is diabetic or non diabetic right so this is again you are trying to classify the patient into a diabetic or non diabetic or another case could be given the student details find out whether the student will get placed or not these are some of some of the important tasks right so uh, choosing a novel task for which you can apply a machine learning that can be a good potential problem to begin with say in most of the cases you you might be finding out or investigating like where should i apply these machine learning algorithms okay can i do some project by making use of machine learning algorithms yes you can find out a good problem okay you need not search or ask anyone you can look around you will find lot of problems which needs machine learning solutions having said these things now in our due course what are we going to do is we are going to categorize this things into several approaches one is supervised learning approach unsupervised learning approach reinforcement learning semi supervised learning approach there are different approaches say example i want to find out like as i increase my temperature okay what will happen to my resistance of a particular material in that case see it is a very simple task Okay, there is some independent variable. There is some dependent variable. I want to find out, like, okay, as and when I change my value of x, how what is its impact on y? Right. In case if such such a simple task I have, 
right i'll be using one of the technique right so those technique right is quickly summarized in this tree diagram right so you need not worry about the jargons it might be a jargon for you right now right so in the new course i'll make it more clear so now we will be going ahead with the first important task which is a regression part this is not new right we have been doing this okay we have been learning in the form of y is equal to mx plus c all right now let's try and understand what is this linear regression how is it helpful and why is it part of a machine learning so that's all for this video so the next set of videos will be we will be getting deeper into the machine learning concepts and followed with the implementations hope this video help you to understand or the set agenda for the next set of videos see you in the next video thank you